Hello everyone, this is Teresa. I would like to share with you about the features of Excel. But today, the topic is about concatenation and conditional formatting. You know, Excel is so very powerful. It has a lot of tools na, na ma-amaze ka. Um, sometimes, niisip mo na it's just an Excel, but it has a huge uh, uses of Excel na so per my you will amaze anyway this is my first time to vlog i hope that um you will support me and ang intention ko lang naman po ay magbibigay po ng uh, uh, to share with you about the tricks and techniques about excel kasi talagang i'm so in love with excel gustong gusto ko siya and um meron din ako mga advance na alam na share sa inyo. Um, but first of all, please like and share my video and of course, subscribe my videos to get updated for my uh, future vlog someday kung magustuhan nyo po. Anyway, um, we will start with our topic today about concatenation. Um, I have my sample data here para maiwas, uh, wasted of time kasi pag nagta-type tayo. So first, we will proceed with concatenation. Concatenation. Okay. So what is concatenation? Concatenation is just another way of saying to combine the words, two or three words or more in one cell or to join together yan yung concatenation um there are two ways on how to concatenate na alam ko i don't know if there are a lot basta ang alam ko there are two ways two ways ang ginagamit ko so the two ways i will introduce to you kayo na po bahala kung alin ang sa tingin niyo na mas maganda para sa inyo okay first First way is to use the function, this function button. So, we have to concatenate, in this example, we have to concatenate the first name and the last name. The result must be Maria de la Cruz. Yan dapat ang malalagay sa D2, Maria de la Cruz. Dito, ilalagay ang Maria de la Cruz. Using the concatenation without typing, we have to do the for the we have to maximize the uses of Excel. So here, insert for a function. So ilalagay mo ko ano yung function na gagamitin mo. So now, ang gagamitin natin is concatenate. So type the word concatenate. Okay. So find go. Heto nandito na siya concatenate. So, double-click mo siya, lalabas yung function arguments. So, text one. Ano yung ilalagay natin text one? Siyempre, ang first name kasi yun ang criteria natin. So, first name, dapat si Maria muna. And then, text two will be de la Cruz. Okay. So, look at this one. Ang result sa ginawa natin formula, ito daw, Maria de la Cruz. So, you are fine with that. So, click Okay. Iyon, lumabas na si Maria de la Cruz. Kaya lang, pag pinapansin mo siya, wala siyang space, which is not supposed to be. Dapat merong, merong space between Maria and de la Cruz. So, paano mo gagawin yan? Paano mo dadagdagan ng uh, space in between? So, um, i ang gagawin natin dito, we have to edit the formula. Uh, there are a lot of ways on how to edit the formula. Pwede kang gumamit dito sa function button or the formula bar here. This is the formula bar, by the way. So here, pwede kang gumamit dito, maka-edit ka na. Or, or, F2, kaya lang wala kong F2 dito. F2 in your keyboard or double-click. Ido-double-click mo lang siya. Lalabas na yung ano na pwede ka na makapag edit ng formula. So here, ang intentions natin dito is dadagdagan natin ng space before before de la Cruz. Maria space de la Cruz. So, 
Um, kaya lang, sa concatenation, pag naglagay ka ng anything inside the concatenation, kailangan ilagay mo yung word, either word, space, number, anything na i-add nyo po, you have to put it in a quotation. Okay, so quotation, anong i-add natin? Space. So space, then another quotation, then comma, because comma, kasi another concatenation, ang B2 is de la Cruz. Iyan yung dinudugtong natin. Okay, pag okay ka na dyan, click enter or hit the enter button in your keyboard. Okay, so yan. So this is fine, this is okay, kasi meron na siyang space in between. Now, this is the first way. Another way, another way of concatenation is using not using function. Gagamitan natin ng keyboard. So how? Um, since we are doing formula, we have to press anything na ilalagay mo na with formula, kailangan na start with equal sign. Kailangan may equal sign. Ibig sabihin nun, nagbibigay siya ng hint na there will be a formula after that. Okay? So, equal sign. So, ano yung i-concatenate natin? This time, ang i-concatenate natin, yung last name muna and then first name. So, De La Cruz first and then Maria. Okay? So, first, dalhin natin yung cursor to De La Cruz kasi siya yung uunahin natin. And then, concatenate. Now, we're not using function this time. So, gagamit tayo ng ampersign. Ampersign is like concatenation then. So, ampersign. Next, Maria. Okay? So, pag okay ka na, you have to press enter. Ayun. Ito naman, sa rules talaga, pag nag-start ng apelyedo or the last name, followed by comma and then first name. So, there should be comma here between before Maria. De La Cruz, comma, Maria. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, again, we have to edit our, our formula. How to edit our formula? Do double click or go to the formula bar or F2. Ngayon, ito na. So, you have to, we have to add some comma here. So, as I said earlier, pag nag, nag Pag nag-add ka anything inside the concatenation, it should be inside the quotation. So, magdadagdag tayo ng quotation. So, quotation, comma, and then after comma, pwede mo dagdagan siya ng space o space bar. Kasi para mas maganda. So, after space bar, quotation, and then, o. Kung ano naman, meron tayong, ano, idadagdag ko, concatenate mo na naman. So, you have to put ampersign. Okay? So, kasi, bakit dalawa na ang ampersign dyan? Kasi meron ka ng dinagdag eh. So, it has to be, lahat ng pagdagdag mo ng pagdagdag, ilalagay mo ng, lalagyan mo ng ampersign as concatenation para maintindihan ng Excel. So, I think this formula is okay. So, enter. Okay. So, that's it. Very nice. So, we, we came up with um, with with comma and then space and then the first name. So this, I think this is good. And now, meron ka lang formula sa, sa, sa D2 here. Meron ka lang formula. So paano mo siya kukopyahin? Yung mga tamad, maghahanap ng paraan. So, kailangan mo siyang kopyahin mo isa-isa. Kasi parehas lang sila eh. Kailangan mo, ito, si dapat si Marie, uh, seven Peter dito lang. Dere-derecho na siya. So, ano, paano magkukopya ng formula? There are three ways na alam ko na magkukopya ng formula. First way, this one. Have you noticed this small block, uh, small block rectangle here? So, i-click mo lang siya. Click. Right click. Ah, no, no, no. Just click. And then hold your cursor and bring down your cursor down until 6. Then release your cursor. Ayun, nakopya na yung 
formula ni D2 na ni D3, D4, D5, D6. So, pareho sila ng formula. Kung palitan mo siya, palitan mo yung pangalan, siguro nagkamali ka, palitan mo ng 6. Um, Kunwari, o yun. So, automatic na siya kasi may formula ka na. Ginawan mo na siya ng formula. Okay? Another way. So, that's the first way. Second way. Click this cell, D2. D2, this D2 here. Control C. Control C in your keyboard. And then, bring down the cursor hanggang doon. Highlight mo siya kung saan mo hanggang gusto dalhin yung formula. Then, control V in your keyboard. V as in victory. Yan. So, na copy na yung formula. Oh, another way. Oh, second way. This is the second way. And then, the third way. Third way. Um, this one, uh, copy, then highlight, down, just enter. Okay. So, tatlong paraan paano magkakopy ng formula. It's up to you kung alin ang gusto nyong gagamitin. At least, sinasabi ko sa inyo kung alin ang, ano-ano uh, yung mga ways to copy the formulas. Okay. So, that's for it. That's for the concatenation. Anything na hindi nyo naintindihan, please leave your comments down below. Or, uh, kung gusto nyo pang may mga tanong pa kayo na gusto nyo i-introduce about concatenations or you have your ideas about concatenation, you can share it. Write your comments down below. Okay? Then next, our topic is conditional formatting. Okay? So, what is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting is a feature of Excel which allows you to apply a format to a cell or a range of cells based on a certain criteria. Okay, certain criteria. So, my criteria dapat. Okay, so our criteria here, we have to look for a word that will start with letter S. So, S. One, two, three, four. So we we have four word here that start that start with letter S. So kailangan mahanap natin siya. Dito pwede namang pwede namang manwale. Pero what if madami madami kang data? So this is just an example. First we start with highlighting the all the word that you need to to look for the certain word. So yun. I-highlight natin siya. And then, go to Home. Conditional Formatting. Since this is New Rules, kiklik mo yung New Rules. Okay. There are a lot of type of rules here. Maraming rules na uh, pwede mong uh, pagpipilian. Since our criteria is to look for word that start with letter S. So, ito yung second Second rules ang pipiliin natin. Format only cells that contain. So, go proceed to format only cells with specific text. Yung specific text ang hahanapin natin. And containing with or start with or beginning with letter S. Yan. So, if you're okay with that, yan ang, ang criteria mo. Nagsiset ka ng criteria, by the way. This is setting of criteria. So, pag nahanap mo daw to, ifo-format mo siya ng ang fill color niya is yellow while the font color is lagyan natin ng red. Black. Okay. So, ganito daw ang mangyayari. Pag nahanap ng Excel, ang, ang word na nag-start ng S, magiging ganito daw. Ang fill color niya is yellow ang font color niya is black. So, okay na. So, let's go. Okay. So, look at this one. So, there are one, two, three, four. Four words that start with letter S. So, it's easy to identify or to recognize yung based on our criteria kung may highlight siya. For example, ito si Carlo. Hindi pala siya Carlo. Ang pangalan pala niya is 6-2. Okay. So, dapat, since nag-start siya ng letter S, 
dapat maging katulad din siya sa ano, maging yellow yung uh, fill color niya, then black yung font color. See? So, we did it. And then, for example, to si Sharon, um, hindi pala Sharon Conception siya. Uh, Casey pala siya. Casey Conception. So, look. Supposed to be, it will turn out to wala na siyang wala na siyang font color. Wala siyang font color. Wala siyang fill color. I mean, dapat puti lang siya. Put, uh, no fill color and black. Of course, black ang font color. Okay, see? Okay. So, it will apply to all the uh, word na hina-highlight natin kanina, yung formula. So, that's it. If you find this is useful to you, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you. And hope to see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much. If you need, if you, if you require or gusto nyong mag, um, to be discussed next, next vlog, any, any, anything or anything for Excel na gusto, na, gusto nyong i-discuss, please leave your comments below. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.